Alright, here we go with another fun-filled, action-packed edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. It's the Valley's most detailed weather forecast. Let's uh, get right to it. A little bit of a review of today. First, here's our two-degree guarantee numbers uh, for the month so far. We had a couple of misses Sunday and Monday. Uh, today we were on the money, though. Our forecast was 62. We reached 61 this afternoon. Still below average, but... Uh, Better than where we were yesterday, that is for sure. Accuracy uh, rate so far for uh, 2016 at 68%. Not real happy with that number. We've taken some lumps lately. We had that number up around 73% a little while ago, but uh, we've taken some lumps of late, knocking us down to 68%. Uh, we, we count it as accurate if, it's, if the high is within 2 degrees. So uh, certainly some room for improvement there, although it is easily better than any other source of weather information that you're going to get here for the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. All right, let's look at this time lapse from our uh, weather camera in Youngstown today. Cloudy, murky start, but then in the afternoon, thankfully, the sun came out. It turned out to be a pretty nice day today. Again, light jacket needed. It was still below average, but today looked a lot better than yesterday did. This morning looked like it did all day yesterday. So today was a little more like it, and I think we'll see some sunshine tomorrow as well. Uh, the temperature trend today, uh, chilly start in the 30s, and we kind of hovered around in the 40s for a while. Temperatures didn't rise quickly this morning. You know, at this time of the year, if you've got full sunshine, you can get a 7 or 8 degree jump between, say, 8 and 9 o'clock. But this morning, the jump was only 2 degrees because of the clouds. But then a nice rise as we got into the afternoon, and again, we got up into the lower 60s earlier on today. Radar and satellite pretty quiet here locally. Another uh, busy evening down in parts of the Carolinas, down into Georgia as well. Thankfully, no severe weather in the nation's capital. They had some pretty big hailstorms uh, around D.C. and Baltimore uh, last night. Our weather will be quiet tonight, uh, partly cloudy sky. Any sprinkles stay off to our south. All right, tomorrow there's been some changes in the overall ideas for our uh, Wednesday. We were kind of painting a, a fairly wet picture for you yesterday for tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Now it looks like a lot of this activity is going to stay off to our west and then shift to the south. And northeast Ohio and western PA will be in a relative kind of a min here or a minimum in the number of showers around. Now here's tomorrow evening. Again, pretty busy. Probably some hailstones falling in some of these showers out in central Ohio. But kind of running into a wall in eastern Ohio. Sure, there could be a shower here and there, but we're not looking for much. And then everything kind of sinks off to the south as that low sinks off to the south. And we're just left with clouds for tomorrow night. Then we get set up into this moist northeasterly flow, a cool day coming up Thursday. I think we stay in the 50s, and uh, probably a little bit of light rain or drizzle from time to time as well. That low brings more lousy weather to the east coast on Friday, but it's far enough east by Friday that I think we'll try to get into some sunshine uh, on Friday, and as a result, temperatures should shoot back up into the 60s. Rainfall uh, totals with uh, a little bit of rain coming our way, uh, especially Wednesday night into Thursday. Modeling here, there's a bit of a spread, but an average about quarter of an inch worth of wet weather. Not enough to really knock down the uh, pollen, that's for sure, on Wednesday. It'll be through the roof again. Uh, the grass pollen has noticeably, has gone up noticeably over the last week or so. Uh, tree pollen's been pretty high for a while. All right, so that's a look at the next uh, few days. Mother's Day weekend is coming up, so let's talk about that. This is the GFS model. Uh, showing by Saturday morning our low is off the coast, and we're kind of in between systems for a lot of the day Saturday. And with a west to southwest wind developing, I think we'll get into the 70s on Saturday. It's going to be a pretty nice day. Uh, that changes, though, as uh, we get into Saturday night, so it, it won't be as dry Saturday night, but the timing on this is pretty good. We get the rain out of the way at night. Uh, showers, perhaps even some thunder with this, then Saturday night along our cold front. Uh, but uh, this will be after dark, mostly Saturday evening. And then if you have outdoor plans with mom or you just want to travel on Sunday, uh, I think it's going to be a pretty nice day. It's going to be cooler than Saturday. Probably stay in the 60s on Sunday, but uh, we will be dry. This little bit of uh, precipitation on the GFS is probably bogus up in far northeast Ohio and into northwest PA. So the weekend's looking pretty good. Then I think we'll try to warm things up again early next week. Uh, here's Monday. Looks like a pretty calm, tranquil day and uh, temperatures upper 60s to around 70. What about the longer range? Is the uh, warmer pattern going to stick around? I think the answer generally is yes. Not every day is going to be warm, but it's a warmer pattern. Here's the uh, temperature anomalies for Saturday. Again, notice the warm bubble over us. This cool pocket comes down for Sunday. Sunday is a below average day by a few degrees. But that's kind of a transient thing. Uh, it's out of the way by early next week. So by the middle of next week, here's next Wednesday the 11th, there's not a lot of cool air across the country. New England, uh, Parts of the Northern Rockies as well. Uh, but uh, again, let me rewind here to the middle of next week. 
Uh, warmth dominating for most of the country. Uh, subtle. It's not a heat wave or anything, but a, a subtly warm pattern. And as we head towards the following weekend, here's the middle weekend in May. This is Saturday the 14th. Uh, the European is showing cool air up here, but plenty of warmth in the east. So we're in a coolish pattern right now, but we're going to start busting out of this, and more days will be warm than not as we head towards the middle of May. And that's kind of a the, the sermon I've been preaching now for about a week or so. Thanks, as always, for watching Weather for Weather Geeks 21 News tonight at 11. I'll have a fresh take on your forecast. Be sure to check out the Storm Tracker 21 app. If you're up early tomorrow morning, check out Jess's forecast on WFMJ Today.